Hey, lovely people. Thanks for being with me. Uh, today I want to share with you a personal anecdote from, I think, 10 years ago. Well, yeah. I was following a, a life coach course myself. And one of the exercises we had to do was to climb on a on a wooden pole of, of about eight meters high and um, you had like a, a, a safety belt and the whole of the group was holding you so if you would climb and you would fall down the whole of the whole group would uh, catch you secure you um, so very safe <laughs> So you had to climb on this pole and then stand up uh, at the top of the pole where there is nothing to hold on, just this tiny little platform of the, the, the pole itself. And then when you were up at the top you had to jump to a trapeze which was about two meters away from the, the pole and try to catch it and at the, in that time I was still doing circus so I was very self-confident about yeah the climbing on the pole wall no problem and to to jump to the, the, pr the trapeze there on the height of eight meter I'm used to it so I can do it so I climb and I go and stand and I and I jump and I miss and all my self confidence confidence was was gone I felt like a big loser I was hanging in the air um, supported by the, the, the whole group and when they let me down um, and, and when I when my feet touched the ground I literally sank through my legs I was so shocked I was like I I the big circus artist didn't catch this trapeze on that height it it's so simple and, and I cannot do it and the whole group t came to me and I said Arlene you did it wonderful and I didn't want to talk I didn't I was like no 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 leave me alone you don't see it so I went to the the life coach who was giving the course and I went to her and I told her I can do it give me another chance and I can do it I know I can catch this trapeze of course I can and she said no this is your lesson this is what you have to learn now and i was like no 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 i want to go give me another chance and she, she said no feel this feel what you feel now and this is your lesson this is what you need to feel and i I felt so lost and so embarrassed and so humiliated I don't know I felt like I didn't want to be there anymore so I got away from the group and I sat down on the branch of a tree I, I don't know and I just like I lost a big identity me the perfect circus artist who couldn't catch this trapeze I felt nothing anymore I felt like loser all the things that I could do were were gone all the things I had that I thought I was the best in it, it this identity vanished like in one second so there was nothing to hold on anymore there was no identity to identify with I was just 
pure nothing. And then there was a one of someone of the group, and she came to me and she looked me in the eyes and she said, "Lee, you were wonderful." And I said, "No, no, no, no." And she said, "Look at me. You teach me a lot." What I saw was actually for me too. What you did was a lesson to me too. I didn't realize, but when I saw you climbing and when I saw you missing the trapeze and feeling like a failure, it was like me being there. And I suddenly realized that what we both do is we forget the journey itself the way you climbed on this pole was amazing with this gracefulness and so easy so beautifully and then going and stand up in the pole at eight meters you were shining up there and then your jump was was like an, an angel and you didn't see it you didn't realize how beautiful you were in the journey itself you were only focused on the result on catching this trapeze and when she was talking with me I I realized yes suddenly I became aware of yeah it's true what you're telling me now I was so focused on the result that the rest didn't count and I forgot how beautiful the journey itself was and I forgot who how beautiful I did it how how wonderful it was And this is maybe one of the biggest <laughs> lessons I learned in my life. And I'm still learning it. To not focus on the result, but enjoying the journey itself. And I'm, every day I, I, I play with it and I with simple small daily t things like uh, doing the dishes sometimes i'm focused yes now i want to have it done and i'm gonna do it quickly but it it doesn't feel joyful it doesn't feel playful so I'm, and then I'm, I'm, I, I if i focus on just doing it and and then, then suddenly i see the the soap bubbles on the plate or I'm I'm so aware of the water running out of the tap the sound of the water the feeling of the water on my hands and I feel like a little girl so fascinated by these small details and enjoying it um, looking at the magic of this soap bubbles and uh, then I, I keep on doing it and it's I l it's amazing how, how nice it feels and I'm not I'm completely not focused on I have to do it quickly now it's when it's done then I can be happy and joyful and I, then I can do the things I want to do <laughs> now these small daily things helps me and also you to just enjoy every little thing because life exists of small things every day we wake up every day we put one feet on the floor after we wake up and then the other one and then we walk one step after the other to the bathroom going to the toilet and then we flush the toilet and maybe we look 
in the mirror to brush our teeth and then we go upstairs or downstairs I don't know where your bathroom is and then we have breakfast and the breakfast is also just small things taking a knife cutting the fruits or cutting the bread putting the pieces in a small bowl putting butter on your slice of bread all small and simple things and this is a beautiful journey in itself and I notice by myself when I'm when I'm focused on having it done and I feel easily frustrated when something goes wrong for example when I'm cutting my fruit for breakfast and there is a piece falling next to the bowl I get frustrated I'm like no 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 you have to be no then I can eat and if I'm not focused on the result then it doesn't matter then this piece falls next to the bowl and I pick it up and put it in the bowl again It's fascinating to me to see and to feel the difference when I'm focused on having it done, when I want this, whatever I'm doing, um, ending, when I want that this is <laughs> finished, <laughs> and I'm not enjoying it. And when I put all my focus on just doing this small thing then I'm enjoying it the fullest and then it doesn't matter if it's finished or not I'm just enjoying doing the dishes and taking this one cup or cutting this carrot so I want to invite you to Try this experiment for yourself. The daily things you're doing. Every day you do it. Just put your focus on the doing itself. The small details. The every little step. One step after the other. And so focused look and become aware of what you're doing one hand and then the other hand even sitting on a chair you take the chair put in, in this position that you have the space to sit on it then sit down feel the chair under you, underneath you play it don't try to do your best <laughs> But then you want to be perfect and you want <gasps> then your mind pops in and then you don't enjoy it at all just play play like a little kid and what I notice by myself is that sometimes I just do it for a few seconds maybe I don't know a minute or something and then I hear my mind popping in and it says lean come on stop playing around like a little girl Stop being so fascinated by these soap bubbles. Go on, you have more important things to do. <laughs> and it's not, it's not true, it's only this voice in my head. It's only our mind that tells us, come on, this is not important. You have more important things to do. But if we listen to this voice, then we are always running away from the moment itself and we are always chasing something we will never achieve because it's always in the future so we will never feel fulfilled we will always keep on chasing a phantom <laughs> ah if we if we are there if i can reach this one then then I will be happy and we forgot we forget our, our primal purpose 
we forget just enjoying this moment the only moment there is this this moment So play with it, play with it and get back to always this moment again. And how I experience it is I jump in and out and jump in and out and it's okay. We are learning to be human, to be a human being on earth. We are learning to become aware of ourselves to become aware of whatever there is and then always go back to the root of our ourself to to this moment thanks for being with me and enjoy your playful journey and playful can also be at the same time that you feel sad or angry or frustrated or whatever it doesn't mean that if you're in the moment that everything is happy happy joy joy no it just means that you allow this one moment to be like it is with the sadness with the frustration with your resistance on this moment and the resistance of not wanting to feel what's going on or not wanting to be in this situation and that's fine too allow yourself to just feel whatever there is be very gentle to yourself because you're learning and you're allowed to make mistakes this is a beautiful way to learn and to become aware of yourself and who you are in your essence and to become more and more aware of just this moment thanks for being with me and if you like to share how you feel um, with this experiment and how you exp uh, uh, experience it share it with me I'm looking forward to hear you or maybe see you and if you like to have a private online coaching session I'm here for you to just send me personal message and I'm looking forward to go on a wonderful journey with you to become your beautiful unique and wonderful self I send you all lots of love and until next time <laughs>